The Twisted Tale of the City of Romance When you think of Paris, odds are you think of the iconic Eiffel Tower, cobblestone streets, and love. Paris has long been associated with romance, and many consider it to be the most romantic place in the entire world. However, there is a dark side to this city of romance, and a history that is far more horrifying than what anyone on their honeymoon would possibly think. Whether you think of the thousands of bodies locked away in the catacombs that run beneath the city, or the horrifying true tale of the original Sweeney Todd, there is far more to this city than what meets the eye. Though many ghost hunters and paranormal investigators who go to the City of Lights tend to take their hunts beneath the city and into the catacombs, there is a residence that is haunted by something far more sinister than the souls of innocent men and women who were wrongfully murdered. This site can be found at 20 Rue Chanoinis. Though now used as a parking garage for the police department, this seemingly innocent building holds a secret that is far from romantic. The building was originally constructed in the 14th century and was designed to house several businesses sharing the same walls. The corner business belonged to a baker, and right next door a barber moved in. These two men had grand reputations within the city, many people stating what a wonderfully close shave the barber gave, and hundreds of people flocking to the baker for his meat pastries. However, there was a sick relationship taking place between these two individuals, and no one suspected them of a thing. The reason the baker's pastries were so different from anything anyone had ever tasted before was because he was using a different kind of meat than anyone had ever eaten. Human flesh. Instead of making the pastries as other bakers did using pork or beef, this baker was grinding and using human flesh in his meat spreads and baked goods. But where could he get this flesh? How could he use it so often and not get caught? The answer came from right next door. Though many people believe that Sweeney Todd's inspiration came from London, the fact of the matter is, long before that barber became a serial killer, this barber was murdering countless people who walked through his doors. He targeted foreign students, young people who wouldn't be easily missed by anyone in town. After giving them a shave, it is said that he would slit their throats with his razor, then dump their bodies down a chute. The bodies would land in the shared basement of the baker and barber, where the baker would then take the bodies and use them for his own purposes. For three years, these men were able to carry on with their sickening hobby, until the day a man was finally noticed missing. It is said that he went to the barber with his dog only that he left the animal outside as he got his hair cut. However, when he didn't come out, the dog became anxious. It is said that the animal was whining and pawing at the windows, though no one paid much attention to him. When the man's wife finally became worried, she went to the barber shop where she knew her husband had gone. However, she couldn't find him there and the barber claimed that he hadn't seen him at all that day. The man's wife took the pet home and reported her husband as missing, but she couldn't help but notice how distressed the dog appeared to be. As soon as the animal was left out of the house, it ran back to the barber shop. When this happened a second time, the woman went to the authorities once more and told them she believed there was something going on in the barber shop. An investigation revealed hundreds of human bones in the basement of the building, as well as several bodies that were partially decaying in the corner. The men were immediately arrested, but they were not given a trial. They were both burned alive, and it is said that the building itself was burned to the ground to purge the area of evil. 
The building was eventually constructed once more, and through the years has seen many different kinds of businesses, though it is now used as a parking garage for the police force. Many of the members of the force state that they have seen apparitions within the garage. At times, there is the sound of disembodied voices floating through the air, and at other times, orbs can be seen. It is said that the basement of the building is where the most paranormal activity takes place, as there are still a few of the original foundation stones left in place. One officer states that if you touch the stone, for a brief second a glimpse of the basement comes to life, with bones and bodies being cut and ground into nothing more than a paste. In this modern world, many people enjoy Sweeney Todd and think of him as nothing more than a character that has been created for Hollywood. However, there is a truth to the tale that is very real and very dark, and to this day spirits linger in the place they met him for real.